Hello, my name is Adonis and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing what do they secretly want to tell you spread for all of my Pisces out there. But first, hope you guys um, like my new background. Um, and also, I'm going to be uh, showing my cards on the table now per your request. So you're going to see what I see. So without any further ado, let's jump in. All right, here we go. Moon, <clears throat> Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, Sun. Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, Sun, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Show me the cards that I need to see. Show me the cards that I need to see. What? What do they see going to tell Pisces? Show me the cards. Pisces, my Pisces, my Pisces. So we got the Page of Cups here. So there's definitely some transformational energy taking place here with this individual. Um, we also we got the Fool card here. So this person is looking to take a leap of faith. It's been a lot of that happening today with these readings. A lot of people kind of going out there taking that leap of faith here, kind of putting it out on the line, saying, "Hey, it's good. let's see where this thing goes here." We also, we have the Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands representing someone's looking to kind of relieve themselves of a burden. They want to kind of get something off their chest. In other words, in this particular case, this person has something to say. They have something to communicate to you. All right. Uh, we got the Seven of Wands here. Seven of Wands representing the person... Feeling as though they have the high ground. I feel like this person feels as though they have the high ground because they have something to say. And they're like, you know what? Um, I just kind of want to put it out there and and, 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 and kind of see where things lie here. Uh, you know, they believe, in, in other words, they believe that their, their, um, their righteous, they're, they're feeling righteous in their feelings towards coming towards you here. Um, this person definitely comes off with the sixth of pentacles here. It comes off as someone that is very generous with their, with their, with their time, with their money. Maybe a, a socially conscious individual here. Uh, you know, gen again, you know, generous with time as well as money. The type of person to volunteer at like a, um, uh, a homeless shelter or, or, or a food bank or something like that here. Uh, we got the king of wands here. This person potentially be a fire sign individual here. Sagittarius, Leo, Aries energy here. But king of wands are like, um, this person has a lot of fiery energy towards a lot of, a, a lot of action oriented plans. Fire signs all about action, action oriented plans moving towards the future. So this is a person, you know, king of wands born visionaries here. Okay. So this is a person thinking about, you know, where things can you know where things gonna be next month, next year, two, three years down the road here. So this person's thinking about, you know, the long game. They're not thinking about, about the micro, they're thinking about the macro. We're you know, thinking about the big game here. So this is a big game thinker here. However, with all that being the case, we got the moon card here. So this is a situation where it's like, you know what? Um, there's something that you, you, you kind of help but feel there's something deceptive about this person, okay? There's some, some type of hidden perils here. You know, you're not, you don't feel like you're getting the whole picture with this person here. Okay, so in other words, everything that glitters is in gold, all right? So, at least that's your perception. And whether that's a true perception or not, uh, that's the perception that you have of this person. So... With that being said, let us see what potential blockages could we be looking at here. What other potential blockages could we be looking at? What potential blockages could we be looking at? What potential blockages could we be looking at here? Some cars need to see. Some cars need to see. Some cars we need to see. There you go. Okay, so we'll drink it is here. All righty, so we have the uh, eight of swords. Eight of swords representing an individual who feels as though their hands 
are tied behind their back. Okay, um, you know, uh, there's this feeling here, and I'm, I'm feeling like this energy is more or less uh, geared towards you. You're kind of feeling like you kind of feel like your 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 hands are tied behind your back. You feel like you're you know, you're, you know, you're one, you feel like there's something off, but you can't quite feel like it, feel, you can't quite see what it is, and so you feel like you're being marginalized, you're kind of like being handled, kind of like being, you know, because I feel like this person is very guarded, you know, you feel, so there's something, there's, there's something more that you're not seeing here, and you have reached the crossroads here, you've definitely reached the crossroads with the situation with the two of swords, so there's definitely a crossroads that has been reached because, you know, your spidey sense has really been, been tingling here. Now, I'm not going to say ignore that spidey sense. Could be true. Could be true. All right. Page of Pentacles is all about communication. Page of Pentacles. So, uh, you know, I, I feel like you're trying to figure out the best way to articulate this to this person. Like, you know what? You know, what? is what are you really about what what's the real deal with you you know there's something hidden that you just kind of can feel it you know and and you're really trying to figure out the best way because page of pentacles is all about taking really good care and examining really thinking about what they're going to say before they say it how they're going to come off so there's a lot of mental energy being put into the right way to put this thing here and you also with the seven of wands feel righteous in your Belief, you feel like you have the higher ground here. Uh, you want to have victory over this opposition. The opposition being, being something not quite being right here. Um, <clears throat> also, we got the magician card. You know about manifesting one's reality here. Got to go back to the question: What a potential blockage is here? Um, you're not being able to manifest that connection that you want because there's this uneasiness that is beginning to take shape with the situation here also we have the two of cups okay two of cups representing a cup possibly a soulmate connection here um a friendship a partnership if you will uh again going back to the question is what are the potential blockages the potential blockages are that you do have a soulmate connection you think but you're not sure because again, there's there's some things that are being hidden here. So that's what this thing is really, really all about here. So guys, if you hear kids play, I got some kids playing in the background out here. So if you hear them, that's what it is. Anyway, so um, also finally here we have the cherry card. Okay. And so this goes directly to someone kind of taking control of a situation, kind of moving things in the direction that they want them to go to. Um, that's why I use the word being handled because there's this sense here that this person is kind of pulling you over in this direction and kind of making you see what they want you to see. But in, but also this energy is also partially yours because you want to move things over in the direction that you want it to be, that where you want it to go to, so you can reveal what's not being seen here. So this whole reading really is about um, there is this sense of something being hidden. You feel like all of the I's are dotted and T's are crossed, but there's just this big looming feeling that this is too good to be true, and am I missing? I'm missing something here. That's what this is main theme of this reading is about. Here. So that being the case, let us see what additional information Spirit wants to bestow upon us, and I will let you go. Okay. What additional information do you want? What kind of additional information do you have? Hey. Okay, <clears throat> boom, boom, okay, so, and man, oh man, so I'm, usually I go from this way to that way, but today, I think it's important that I start with this first, and that is the surface. So, <clears throat> surface pertains to, there are the way people are, and then there are the way that they want you to believe that they are. Okay, and that's what's going on here with the surface card here. Now, the question here is, okay, so you, we can just, just make the assumption that your spider sense tingling is accurate. But why is this person coming off being the way that they are? What's going on? What's going on behind that mask? Okay, and there's usually two reasons why a person does this. One 
is because, you know, they don't have a lot of confidence in themselves. They're really down on themselves. And so they pretend to be something that they're not. The thought process being, hey, once this person realizes who I am, you know, they get to know the real me. By that time, we will have fallen in love and it'll all be forgotten and they'll accept me for me. Right? Okay? Makes sense, I guess. But the other reason is kind of nefarious. Okay? In the case of a relationship, nefariousness will be, hey, listen, once they get from you whatever it is that they want from you, you know what I'm talking about. You know, guy or girl, by the way, doesn't matter. Once that happens, you know, then, you know, they reveal who they really are. And so that's the two reasons why a person usually pretends to be something that they're not. What you got to decide here is which one is it? Is it the former or is it the latter? Is it because the person doesn't have a lot of confidence or because of the person's trying to pull a fast when to be deceptive? That's up to you. Also, listen, 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 listen. Because listening will not only help give you a better idea of where they're coming from, but it'll also help you listen to inconsistencies, okay? So you'll be able to pick up on, wait a minute, hold up, I thought I thought this was like that, you know? So that's why listening is important. You can pick up on certain things. Uh, and sometimes, especially if a person is lying <clears throat> or exaggerating, you can pick up on the slight inconsistencies, okay? And so, so you want to do yourself a favor. Again, I'm not saying that you're right. I'm just saying you're probably right, right? So there's that. Also, we have whatever happens, continue to be productive, productivity. Um, do not let this ruin you, okay, on the prospect of trying finding true love, okay? Um, this is just a bump in the road. Of a, of a very long road so there you go so with that being said i'm gonna shut this thing down now this is a general love reading it may not resonate with everybody but if it does resonate with you and you want to know more about this particular situation i will leave a link down in the description box below make sure you get yourself that personal reading also if you haven't already please like please share and absolutely subscribe 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 it really helps the channel more importantly, it really helps the algorithm pick up on my very unique style of tarot reading and pushes it out there to others that may be interested in this very direct, very conversational sort of tarot. So my name is Adonis. I love you guys in advance, and I will absolutely see you next time. Bye-bye.